We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I've got the great pleasure of being here with Liz Cheng, who is a Senior Vice President uh, for the Telecom Industry at uh, SAP. Liz, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thanks, Max, for the opportunity. Delighted to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the theme here at ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. How do you see ICT innovation impacting on socioeconomic development through your work at SAP? So um, SAP's stated vision is to um, improve people's lives by helping the world run better so it fits perfectly. And we are seeing a tremendous transformation happening right now through technology in all the markets we serve, um, in all the industries we serve, in all the countries where we go. And when you look at the transformation, it really comes a lot from ICT and notably from mobile computing, cloud computing, um, and also big data. And I think that the impact both mobile computing and also cloud computing have on social lives is tremendous. And I'd like to share an example. Uh, for example, um, the Standard uh, Bank of South Africa. Um, you're probably aware that many people in South Africa don't have a postal address. And so they um, launched an initiative that we helped them with to make banking inclusive by basically providing mobile, standard mobile feature phones. Um, giving thousands of people access to doing banking transactions and this of course changes totally the life lives for them. So that's a good example. There are other examples like in Buenos Aires um, using uh, sensor and mobile technologies to predict and prevent flooding from rain and so I think the list is endless on how all these new innovations impact both the economic and social lives of people around the planet. And what measures do you think that government and industry can take to encourage entrepreneurship and, and foster the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? There's been a, a great emphasis placed on SMEs here at ITU Telecom World. And uh, what is SAP doing in this regard? Yeah, that's, that is, that's a great question. And we, we just came back from the SMB roundtable uh, where I had the opportunity to share a couple of examples of what we do with SAP concretely. Uh, allow me to share three. Um, one of them is uh, we have an instrument called SAP University Alliance. Uh, and what we do with the University Alliance is we work with more than 2,400 educational institutions around the world and the faculties to basically build skills for the digital economy. And building skills for the digital economy is very important. We talk about growth. Where is growth going to come from? And um, I'd like to make reference to the World Economic Forum. Um, according to the World Economic Forum, by 2050, um, the African population will grow to almost one billion. So, so that means that um, today, when you look at Africa, there is already today a lack of ICT skills. And that leads into my second example. And that is about, you know, we created, we launched uh, something called Africa Code Week. Uh, we a very, very big sponsor of that, about transferring skills. And, and what is it? It started from October 1 to the 10th, it just finished, but it will never finish. It will be continued online learning free, free of charge on the SAP Open Platform. So we, we, we are going to 17 countries in Africa, and basically we are teaching the youth Simple, a simple way to code uh, between 8 and 24 years old, so very young coding capabilities. And we are using the uh, methodology from MIT Media Labs called Scratch. So I think that is another example of how we contribute to growing the economy. Um, and of course, SM, SMEs uh, need those ICT skills to also be able to take advantage of the opportunities this digital growth, digital economy is offering everyone. And in terms of uh, collaboration and multi-stakeholder partnerships, how important do you think they are in accelerating ICT innovation? I think um, they're actually um, very, very important. I think that no one can really create this whole new growth alone. And when we look today, um, we look today at um, communication service providers, they for sure have an opportunity to do something because they have the network, can provide lots of services. But maybe the innovation, the real innovation, will come from some of the startups because they have a lot of good ideas. So I think working together with the startups, with the governments, with everyone, will really drive the innovation that we are looking for. So it's a very, very important forum, and I think also that's one of the key themes for the event here today. And how is ITU Telecom World, do you think, uh, helping to showcase innovation and support SMEs? 
I think I think the ITU telecom world is doing a great job of that. And um, we actually, to, to endorse what I just said, we were very proud to announce yesterday that we will be sponsoring uh, the Young Innovators Challenge 2016. Um, we are very proud to do that. We are very inspired by the ITU innovators already. And uh, the theme um, that we have selected together with the ITU will be focusing on big data, which should be no surprise, and also healthcare doing something meaningful for the world. So that, that is, is, is a very exciting thing. And um, as, um, as part of this program, and I think it's very important, and it goes back to my uh, statement about SAP University Alliance, we will give the young people, not just help them formulate an idea, but really help them accompany that idea into something sustainable, into a product, hopefully into a selling solution, hopefully into something that can really uh, make them uh, successful in the new entrepreneurship with their new ideas. So very exciting times. And what's the value for you in attending events such as ITU Telecom World 2015? I think um, th there, are, there, are many, there are many value points. Um, ITU Telecom World is the, only, is the only event that brings together a unique combination of ministers, of professors, very clever professors from leading universities, of very, very young innovators with bright ideas, of very smart entrepreneurs with very inspirational uh, uh, talents and also passions to do new things in the ICT world, and of course also industry leaders um, from the private sector. So that, that unique forum, sitting together on the same floor, talking about the opportunities and the challenges we have together, and what are we going to do about it, is, is absolutely a very, very, it's the reason why we come every year to ITU Telecom World. Very inspirational. And then when you think about the opportunity that we have, so yes, uh, maybe uh, the life is going to be very different in 2020. Apparently now there'll be 200 billion devices connected. But what, what does it really mean? I don't think we really know what it means. But we need to sit down and look at how can we all get something, get something value out of that uh, new economy that it, it is driving. And finally, what is your main message here for participants at ITU Telecom World uh, and also to the wider audience, uh, both listening and, and watching this on the internet? I think, I think my key message is that while we are very excited about 200 billion devices uh, by, by 2020, I think we should also keep in mind the Connect 2020 agenda. And there is, um, there is still 60% of this world who do not have access to any of that. And we should really, really continue to work together to find a way to bring connectivity to everyone. And I, I really fundamentally believe that this will only happen through collaboration, um, creating jobs, meet really, and the ICT is in the heart of all that. So, um, so let's do it sooner rather than later. The sooner the better. Thank you. Lise Cheng, thank you very much. Thank you so much.